Hello YouTube friends. Welcome back to The Last Homely House. I'm Kate and today I'm going to show you the progress that I've been making with my hand tent or my borrow jacket or the jacket that I'm making out of old denim jeans. Now this has stalled for quite a while because if anyone's been watching this channel for a while you'll realise that the project with the dish and the spoon and the print have kind of like taken over my life <laughs> for the last few weeks and uh, I really really loved getting involved with those makers and that project but it has meant that some of the other things have been on the back burner a little bit well now it's time to bring this project back out again and give it uh, some more of my attention. I'll leave a link to the playlist on the end card so that if you wanted to see the first couple of um, videos that I made about this um, project. But I'll remind you that I'm making a jacket from this book, which is a lovely book called The Book of Borrow by Susan Briscoe. It's a really, really nice book with all sorts of projects in it. But the project that I'm making is this one, which is the, the jacket, which is on the front cover as well. And it's, I started out uh, with quite a lot of ideas about how this would be. And over time, and also because of the comments that people left on those last couple of videos, I've changed my mind quite a lot as I've gone along. And so there's quite a lot of um, thought gone into, into this and changing my mind as well, which I think is great. It's good to change your mind as you go along, isn't it? So I cut the base pieces out of some old denim jeans and I started to stitch into it so that um, you know I could use some of this uh, sashiko technique and some of these mended borrow techniques as well um, and then uh, I got in touch with my friend Lindsay who is also known as the Border Tart and she has a shop up in the borders and she um, dyes wool with uh, various um, dyes but mostly indigo or a lot of indigo and she sells this thing called the borrow box which is all sorts of little bits and pieces of fabric and threads and all sorts of things to make a, a project this lovely little heart has to make it into the jacket somewhere doesn't it I'll put it on the inside I think that would be fun but I got in touch with Lindsay and she sent me uh, all these bits and pieces. But because she's a good friend of mine, I'll leave the link to Lindsay's shop in the show notes below. She sent me all this amazing fabric as well. And really, really beautiful fabric, far more than uh, 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 she should have done. Uh, it was a wonderful parcel to open. So some of the comments last time were about um, make the jacket reversible, Kate. And I think that's a really good idea. And especially now that I've got these really, really great fabrics, I think that's exactly what I'll do. So what I hope to do today is just sew this together because I haven't actually looked at it for ages and it's definitely not finished. I want to do some more stitching into it and maybe put some more little bits of patches and things. One of the suggestions was that um, this is the sort of thing that you can keep working on after it's finished and you can carry on putting um, stitches and patches and mends, which is what the original borrow was all about. It was about um, prolonging the life of a fabric uh, by adding little bits of mends and running stitches and patches to it. So today's task then, I'm going to sew this together and see how it fits and make any adjustments and then I'm going to think about making the lining. So that's coming next uh, and so I'll bring you along for that. Okay, so I've spent a bit of time reading the book 
uh, which is a good idea. I got a bit vexed with past Kate because she didn't read the book properly. And now I've pinned a bit together and I've sort of trimmed these to the right sizes and it's ready to kind of stitch together, uh, sort of. And so those are the sleeves there. Now I have got these pockets, which are gonna be possibly pockets there. I think I want pockets. I might have said this before, what's the use of a garment without pockets? So what I want to do now though, uh, is follow the pattern a little bit more clearly. And I'm cutting a strip I've just started cutting it. Here it is, which is going to be, according to the pattern, it's going to be the bit that goes around the outside. Now, I can't imagine that just being plain, a plain border. So I think I might have to do some fun things to that. So now that I've got it to this stage, where it kind of works, I'm now going to cut out the lining pieces, which are the same size. Sew those together. Sew this together. But I'm really worried about... Worried? I'm not worried. I really don't want to sew this together until I've finished doing all the stitching on it that I want to do. So I might sit this evening and do a bit more stitching. But that's kind of like as far as I've got just now. Lining next. Yeah, I like it. I'll get back to you when I've done a bit more of the lining, or started the lining. It's much later that same day, <laughs> and I've been uh, stitching away and measuring and cutting and working out on this jacket. Now, it's partly done, and I could have filmed it as I was going along, but... Um, I put a podcast in my ears and I listened to that. So I'll show you instead what I've been uh, doing. Now, uh, first of all, I pieced together this fantastic fabric. I should turn it inside out, right side round, so that I've pieced together all these lovely uh, Indian block printed fabrics, which will be the lining. Um, I looked really carefully at the book again. And what I'd say is, it's a great book. I think that the instructions, I was making the coat differently to the instructions. Firstly, it's a lot longer. I think this is more sort of dressing gown length and I'm making mine jacket length. That wasn't the problem. But one of the things that I found, well, it, was, it wasn't a problem in the end, but the way that the pattern pieces, you're asked to make the pattern pieces, you're asked to make the back and the front all as one long strip. And I'd made the back as one piece and two fronts. But actually, you sew it all together and it all comes together really well. There's one more thing that I decided to alter in the pattern and that was how the sleeves go in. They want you to sew the sleeves together in a tube and then set them into a, and then sew the jacket side and shoulder seams up and then set the sleeves in. And I decided it might be easier if I sewed the sleeves onto the opened out coat and then sewed up the side seams. Seemed to make better sense to me. I've ended up with exactly the same thing, but uh, I've arrived at it slightly differently. So I've got this now which is the lining. And it's, um, I like it very much. I mean, I like this just as a little coat by itself. I'll stand up so that you can see. How does, how does that look? And then, so lots of beautiful patches that all come together. Now, I've got to take it off though and turn it inside out because what I need to do now is put the lining 
inside the jacket. So it's coming together really well. I've just tried it on. It fits fine. I think once I do this though, it's going to be harder to stitch into it. So I think I think I might have finished the stitching. I don't know, maybe. So here are all the jacket pieces put together. I stitched the shoulder seams together and then I stitched the sleeve and then I sewed all the way around the sleeve and the body catching in this pocket. So there's one pocket there. I haven't got the bottom of the pocket sewn in yet. I'll do that when I do the lining and then the same on the other side catching in this pocket like that and I've tried it on and although the pockets are open at the bottom uh, they're in the right place. Okay so now this goes into here let's put my neck band to one side yes I've measured that really carefully so that should fit it does it fits nicely in there it's not too big Excellent. So that, so that sleeve works perfectly there. And now we'll do the same with the other sleeve. It's quite hard to film this because it's like wrestling with fabric. But I kind of know what I'm doing. So this sleeve here then needs to go into this sleeve. Out it comes at the end. There we go. So the lining's in now. So the next thing I need to figure out is how to attach the lining to the outer and also I'm going to have a little read about this neckband now and see if I can make that work. So I'll get back to you, maybe not today because it's very late, I've been doing this all day and it's, it's nearly nine o'clock and uh, I'm going to stop soon. But I'll come back to you soon with a finish on this one uh, and we'll see whether I like it or not. Well, it's a day or two later now and it's quite early in the morning, half past seven. But it's that time of year where the light, it's light and beautiful and the day's just starting. Now, I was going to sit outside and do this with you, but it's actually still a bit chilly. So, uh, but this is my plan. I am going to move outside shortly. Uh, so let me show you how far I've come with this. Uh, I was worried earlier when I was looking at it because it was full of pins, but now it's less full of pins. <laughs> because I've done quite a lot of sewing on it. So I haven't stitched the lining into the sleeve yet, but let's put it on. In the end, I decided I would go for the neckband. So that's the bit I'm going to talk to you about now. Um, there's a pin there, I just felt it. Get out pin. So I made this long piece that was six and a half inches wide, the book said, and as long as the whole jacket. But I don't like this being really wide here. I think it's just going to be more like a binding and this side is sort of bluey denim and this side is the inside of the pair of jeans that I used uh, because the outside was pretty similar looking. So that means then that I'm going to have to stand up to show you. So I'll push you back a little bit. You won't see my head, but you'll see this. So this means then that the, the band will run all the way down the outside. I've sewn the pockets on. That's just pinned as well. And I've sewn this pocket on. Now, I'll show you in a bit closer about the pockets in a minute. But what I also decided to do was put a pocket on the inside 
of this side because I had a third pocket. I made this pocket, this very decorated pocket. And then when I looked at it, I, I, I went off it and now I've come back on it again. So this is a pocket for this side. But on this side, I thought I'd have a, a second pocket on the inside, just half a pocket maybe. So I'm going to sew that into place as well. But the stitching that I think I'll do, I think I'll do some stitching up this band here. And I thought I'd stitch into that before I sewed it down. So that's what I'm planning to do today. And because today, now this is um, of no consequence to you whatsoever, but I'm having some work done on the electrics to the house, which means that the electricity will be off for a few hours. And so what better thing to do than to sit outside in the pavilion, in the sunshine, with some hand stitching. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, little cat. Are you going to come and help me? She likes to be rubbed behind her ear just there. Don't you? Yes, you do. So I've moved outside because it's such a beautiful day and I'm going to hand stitch quite a lot of this now and I unpicked this little belt loop from the jeans and I'm just trying to work out so that should go at the top of the band for the coat here I've joined them together with a little bit of this same fabric here so I'm kind of thinking that the hanger which is the, what this belt loop is going to be should go there really shouldn't it like that so I'm going to stitch that on there now you can barely see the stitching that I've done I've done a little bit of crisscross there and some almost invisible little running stitches here and I'll just take those pins out because I think it would be quite nice hmm Making decisions on the hoof here. Yeah, I'm going to keep making decisions on the, on the hoof. But I think that this is going to be a pleasant morning sitting here, stitching into this narrow part here so that I can cut all this away. But I won't cut it away until I'm turning it under in case I want a bit more of it. finished. I'll show you all the little bits I'm pleased with. First of all, there was a little tiny hole in the denim there, so that's now a nice little <laughs> patch there. Um, I'll pop it on and I'll show you the things that I did at the very end of making this. So the pockets, remember, I was worried about them gaping, so I've put a row of stitches to make a big pocket and two little pockets and I can get my hands in both of them so that'll be like my phone that might be my purse or whatever but then there's my little inside pocket which has got a pocket and a pocket so and the reason why the stitching was where it was was to anchor this pocket down really pleased with that so in fact that does mean that I can wear it reversibly if I want to. So on my colourful days I can wear it like this with one pocket here with all these amazing gorgeous fabrics that Lindsay sent to me. I really like it like that. So depending on what kind of mood I'm in I can wear it both ways. 
Now, the last little bit I did was to stitch on the hanger, which is a little belt loop. And I stitched that on really firmly through all the layers there, so I can hang it up now. And so now, I'm ready for anything. I haven't ruled out doing more stitching into it here and there. I really like that I included this pocket, which was I wasn't so sure about at first, but I really like it now. I'm pleased with it. And so, I like that bit too. That's one of my favourite bits on the outside of the jacket. Ready for anything. Maybe I need a bag now, what do you think? So if you remember the book, the pattern in the book, this doesn't really look anything like that jacket. But I really like it and the book was great, so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and click the notifications bell, then you will always see when I post a new video. And there's quite a lot of behind the scenes stuff over on Patreon you might enjoy watching some of those videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with something else. Bye now. Are you going to stay there, Sadie? Are you coming with me?